This is my 5 million coin squad that I'm going to show you guys. Now, I've kind of just skipped past there. Luckily, that was the bench and not another player. But Donnarumma is the goalkeeper we have gone with. We're going to keep this quick and snappy here. Class keeper. I've got his red pick uh, and he's been pretty amazing for me with keeper movement as well. This guy's actually unreal and saves so many shots that he should not actually save. This would be his team of the week version of the card. Uh, it's a very, very nice card to have and uh, I have really enjoyed using him in goal. Hasn't caused me too many issues and saves most of the stuff that some of the other keepers that I have used this year have not. Moving on then, we have got Carlos Alberto. I did manage to pack this guy in one of the icon packs and that is mainly the reason I'm using him. But honestly, he is a very, very good right back. 82 pace, 88 defending and 83 physical. Not bad at all. I mean, obviously there's better right backs out there that you can use, but for me, he's been class. He's been worth using and I'm needing for some chemistry in this team because the team's chemistry is a bit skew if, uh, and you'll see why that is in a moment. You will need a certain manager in this team. Next up, we have got Canate. Just a solid, solid card. Canate always has been very good card to use played over 659 games and as you guys can see there he's just a solid card there's not too much more i can say moving on then we've got tamori only played with this guy 53 times but he is easily the best center back i have used this year he is absolutely unbelievable in game i'm seeing so many pros use this guy everyone loves him just get the guy he's also never been sent off for me as well in 53 games pretty decent you know i'm not gonna lie Next up, then we've got Theo Hernandez, 106 games played. This card is rapid. He is so quick. He goes up and down that wing. He's so useful for overlapping as well, which I don't necessarily like doing too much for my full, uh, full backs as I am playing a 4 2 4 formation but this guy is so quick and overlaps so well and he's actually good at everything. He can get a ball in the box. His card is very, very well rounded. Um, an informal two more or another special card. You can see this guy being a left wing easily usable uh, as well. Next up though, we have got Zakaria. This guy is absolutely immense to have in the midfield. For his price, he is like a miniature version of the next card that we are going to be using. Um, this guy is just unbelievable. I highly recommend getting him if you guys haven't already used this card. Class card to use and he's dropping in price as we speak. Next up, we have got this man, Patrick Vieira. You may be wondering, 5 million coin squad and you've chosen an SBC card. What's going on here? Well, you can just replace him with the other card, which is what I put the coins up to. His um, closest card. And this is the card we've gone with. He's such an unbelievable card. 85 games played. He's got 21 assists for the club and a goal. Uh, he's been unreal. He's so good. You, people just can't run past him. He wins the ball back them like there's nothing. Uh, he's just... I, it's the first year I've used Vieira, and I'm surprised I haven't used him more being an Arsenal fan, as you guys can see with the background there. Next up, we've got Lionel Messi's flashback of the GOAT. The World Cup winner, Lionel Messi. He's got 24 goals, 39 assists in 167 games, which may not seem that good at all. A lot of these were also the swaps uh, games as well. But honestly, the card feels so good in game and he is absolutely class to me. Um, he's an unbelievable card to use and it is nice to use a Messi card that is quick and agile on the game, uh, like he used to be on the game. So I really do like that. Four star, four star as well. What more can you say? Wish he had a five star weak foot though. Striker then, we have got Johan Cruyff. 307 games, 230 goals and 97 assists. I'm sure these guys... Um, would be absolutely even better stats if we didn't have like over a hundred of them swaps games once again. Phenomenal card, five star, five star. Really recommend him. It's gonna cost you over a million coins, but he is well, well worth it. He's such an unbelievable card. Thankfully for myself, I did manage to pack this guy, and he has been possibly the best striker I've ever used on FIFA. He's been unbelievable. Up front next to him, we do have this man. The other goat of this team is Thierry Henry. What more can I say other than I love him? Um, full star, full star. Again, this guy just doesn't get bullied off the ball. I don't know what it is about him. But you know they're like when you moan on FIFA that you keep tackling them and you lose the ball. But it, you, you keep tackling them and you never win the ball. It's because they've got this guy. He literally it glues to his feet. And it really like it's mad to me how weird it is. Like I will be getting tackled over and over and over again. And he just won't lose the ball. It's actually insane. His shooting is really nice. And he's just got really good hold up play, which I like playing him into the wingers and into Kariff. So I really do recommend getting this man here. Last but not least, we do have Raheem Sterling. This card as well, not done a lot in terms of goals and assists in his time at the club, but he creates so many like assistive assists for me. It's actually a joke and he's a very, very nice card to use. So this is a squad that I've got. This is my bench in case anyone does care as well. But that is the team we do have, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.